Charlie and the Chocolate Factory Chapter 14 Mike TV is sent by television. Mike TV pastors Mr. Wonka about the possibility of sending people by television. Mr. Wonka deems it possible, but he will not because of the danger. But Mike has already raced toward the camera. Mr. Wonka and Mike's parents shout for him to stop, but they are too late. Mike in front of the lens and disappears in a blinding flash of light. Mr. and Mrs. TV react to their son's disappearance while Mr. Wonka ushers everyone to the television. While waiting for Mike to tune in, Mr. Wonka cautions the TVs that sometimes only part of the chocolate appears. Suddenly the screen begins to flicker, and slowly Mike TV becomes clear, waving to everyone. He is one inch tall. Mrs. TV wants to know if Mike is all right, while Mr. TV consults Mr. Wonka about his, about his size. Meanwhile, Mike tells everyone that he is the first person ever sent by television. Mrs. TV grabs her son, as per Mr. Wonka's instructions. He assures her that Mike is fine, but she disagrees. She vows to get rid of the television as soon as she gets home. Hearing this, Mike throws a tantrum and Mr. TV shoves Mike into his breast pocket. Mr. Wonka suggests putting Mike on a stretching machine, saying he is unsure how far the boy will stretch or how thin he, thin he will be. But he assures the TVs that he will fatten Mike up with a special dietary supplement. Mr. Wonka then sends the TVs away with an Oompa Loompa, telling them that everything will come out in the wash. The Oompa Loompas then sing a song about the ills of an and the virtues of reading. Grandpa Joe points out to Mr. Wonka that Charlie is the only child left. Mr. Wonka pauses, then reacts with wild excitement, congratulating Charlie on his victory. He says there is so much to do in collecting people and searches for a particular button in the glass elevator. Charlie recognizes that something crazy is about to happen, and although he is confused, he is not afraid. Like Grandpa, Joe, he is excited. He watches Mr. Wonka, Mr. Wonka reach for a button called up and out, and wonders where they are headed. The elevator takes off at a furious pace. Grandpa Joe yells with glee. Mr. Wonka yells for the elevator to go faster. Mr. Wonka then explains that he has been longing to press the up and out button for a long time, but did not want to make a hole in the roof. Grandpa Joe says the glass elevator will be destroyed when it crashes through the roof. Mr. Wonka concedes he may be right. With a huge crash, the elevator explodes through the roof of the factory and straight up into the sky. Grandpa Joe cries that the elevator is mad. Mr. Wonka presses a button that makes it stop in midair. Charlie looks down at the town below, feeling as though he is standing on air. Grandpa Joe asks how the elevator remains levitating, and Mr. Wonka explains it is powered by candy. He then draws their attention to the other children leaving the factory.